Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today in the little tips and tricks episode we're going to show you how you can actually write that little document or that letter without having any big gun uh, office suit like you know Microsoft Office or um, you know downloading open office or stuff like that um, basically most people will rarely rarely write uh, letters and stuff on their computer and you know for most people having to pay for Microsoft Office is a nonsense and downloading you know open office or uh, LibreOffice is not necessarily a great idea I mean it's not bad because it does give you a full office type suit that's compatible but you might need you know just a little something you want to write a letter that's something actually as a tech guy I often get asked uh, is there a way I can write just a little letter? I need to write to my landlord. I need to write, um, you know, to my congressman or my uh, sister, or I just need a little something to make a letter. Well, you got something on Windows 10. It's been there in pretty much every version of Windows. All you need to do is type Word, and you'll see that WordPad will show up. So if you don't have it at Word, just type WordPad, and you'll see it show up. You can actually right click on it by the way and why not pin to the start screen or pin to the taskbar to have an easy access to the WordPad when you need so. WordPad is a basic, um, really a basic document writer type software. It's you know uh, a, a very very stripped down Microsoft Word processor uh, but it has basically all you need it has a little rule at the top to show you the page you can use for example uh, let's say you want to put a title uh, all you do you can click here and have it centered I'll say that I want it in bold underlined and I want to have a bigger character of say 14 so title to document and then you press enter and let's say I'm gonna go back to the left say I don't want to have bold and underline anymore and you just you know start writing the letter to whoever you want it is a basic uh, you know word processor but you know what it has all that is needed to actually do and create an excellent and nice little letter you can you know put tabs to make sure that you make uh, very very straight columns so you can use a tab key and start uh, doing so so for example here I'll click at the bottom here let's say that I'm there I've put my tab so let's tab here goes uh, tab one so for example every time I press tab the columns are really straight so you know it's it, you can do pretty much anything you want with this all you need to do is actually uh, just you know use it look at the icons you know what if you're not sure what it does you can leave your arrow your pointer and it says oh center text okay what does this do uh, decrease indent decreases the indent level of the paragraph uh, what did this do oh underline so you know what you can learn from this and you can just simply use it and do whatever text you want it's a simple word processor but it works really well um, you've got the little zoom at the bottom right if you like to have the page more at the size of your screen for example you have uh, of course here at the left on the upper left the different fonts that you can use to write letters so you just change this change the text size and well you can save your document you can print it uh, you can even see um, you know have a view of it before um, it's a very 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 nice little word processor and it uh, saves your document basically in RTF format which is a rich text format uh, which is recognized by pretty much all the uh, word processor so if you save it in RTF it should open pretty much with every type of word processor um, you can also if you don't want to um, you know you don't have don't know what type actually the people uh, that you'll send to can open you can just you know just put 
text document and that's it and save it. And of course you can print it, you can insert pictures, uh, paint drawings and so on. So it's a uh, you know, nice little word processor. It actually works for mul multiple page documents. You can write you know, 30 pages if you want in here. Uh, every time you get to, um, you know, you go down the uh, text here, you see that there's like no page view. Uh, that maybe is one of the things that's maybe a problem in this one is the fact that you have no indication of, you know, the different pages as in Word, for example, or a, a more advanced word processor. But still, you know what, it's a nice little uh, thing to do and you can actually click, you know, file, click print, and it's actually going to tell you, um, you know, uh, the pages maybe that you can have if there are a number of pages. But you see here, it's very limited to the information you have. So uh, it, it does not replace a big word processor, but it does the job to do really small little texts and so on. So um, you can see here, there are some limitations to it, but it does work well. And for probably 90% of the people, uh, this is, you know, just okay, and it's simple enough to use. You just go through the different options if you need to. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, let us know and we'll try to help you. Maybe you have a feature, something you'd want to talk about, share with us. Please do so, and uh, it's always fun to have your comments. Thank you for watching.